before you send them out on the track and making sure they're having fun. That's your, your side of it and making sure they're, they're being safe as well from hitting their lines and not going Max Verstappen style into the corner. <laughs> exactly. That's my son. That's, <laughs> that, would be, that would be Maverick. I, I would say that Joseph is more like a Sebastian Vettel or an Alex Albon. Very, I, 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 I hasten to say that I would say Joseph is a smart driver. He's willing to wait for the right time to pass. Uh, Maverick, though, he likes to just dive in. Yeah, I mean, it's it's shallow and breaking late. That's all he does. Exactly. What's going on, guys? It's John and Peter from 893 Motorsports and Go-Kart Academy today. We're doing a vlog just to kind of talk to you. I know you guys got the last vlog and we missed 16 minutes. 16 minutes were deleted, guys. And so we wanted to do another vlog and talk specifically again about why we got into this and why we've ended up making it a business. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Finances. That's what it's about. <laughs> Finances. So again, from our from our first vlog, we talked about how we met. We met over at AMP about six months ago, and we were just getting into karting. We were both green as all get out. Again, we've been in the racing world and been in the car world pretty much our entire lives. But when it comes to go-karting and going deep into go-karting, that was a, a new experience for both of us. Going deep. Go, going deep. Going deep. That's what she said, guys. <laughs> So, so we, we met six months ago, we both started our journeys into karting and in a lot of ways there just wasn't enough resources out there for us to really understand how to maintain a cart, how to prepare a cart, how to buy the right cart, all the tips and tricks. We've had to learn a ton over the last six months. Yeah, I mean, I think the wealth of knowledge from just talking to people, seeing what's going on and running into our own problems. You know, I think there's things of dealing with broken parts, kids crashing into each other, us crashing, I mean, and, uh, and, and Peter, every time he gets in a car, breaks something. You know, you know, actually, let's talk about that. For some reason, I have had some really bad juju over the last four times, <laughs> four times in a row that I've gone out. So most of the time when uh, Jonathan and I are at the track, we're mostly in, I'm in coach mode, working with the kids, making sure they're hitting their lines, John's in tech mode where he's making sure that everything is ready to go for every session. And so we go into those modes. Now, we don't often get to go on the track. No, it really isn't. We're really focused, or at least on my side, I'm like double check and triple check everything to make sure the boys are safe. Obviously, that's number one priority for us before, um, you know, before we send them out on the track and making sure they're having fun. That's your, your side of it and making sure they're they're being safe as well from hitting their lines and not going Max Verstappen style into the corner. <laughs> exactly. That's my son. That's <laughs> that would be that would be Maverick. I, I would say that Joseph is more like a Sebastian Vettel or an Alex Albon. Very. I I I, I, I hasten to say that I would say Joseph is a smart driver. He's willing to wait for the right time to pass. Uh, Maverick, though, he likes to just dive in. Yeah, I mean, it's it's shallow and breaking late. That's all he does. Exactly. So we want to make we want to let you guys know about why we why we're thinking about putting this business together. And, and this is something that kind of really fell into our laps, right? Cost. I think a lot of it was cost. Yeah, I mean, when we looked at the cost and when we've gone through chassis being bent and, you know, where we could get support a from just, you know, being privateers, quote unquote, um, and how we could kind of make it more beneficial and cost effective, making that dollar stretch. Um, I'm sure you guys will find that out or already know um, what the costs are to get into karting, and especially when you have kids who are young drivers uh, making mistakes. For sure, we actually already have a how-to guide, the 10 things that you need to know when you're getting into karting, and you can find that on Go Kart Academy in the forums. So we're always gonna be posting tips, tricks, walkthroughs, guides, and tutorials in the forums of gokart.academy. Now we know that karting, we, we knew that racing was expensive. Having raced our own cars, Porsche, Lamborghini, uh, Radical Cup, we already knew it was expensive, but we didn't know it was gonna be as expensive as it is. Yeah, I really didn't budget for the idea of having a spec Miata or two of them all at once um, in a compact version of a go-kart. So, um, 
yeah, I think, I think, you know, there's, there's been some places where I thought, oh, wow, this is cheaper. And mm. some places that I'm going, this is a lot more expensive. Mm. And so what we figured out is that it was important for us, especially since we're a team, a racing team around this, that it would be important to figure out how to lower our costs. And so we ended up getting uh, a great contact yep. into a towel cart, and we ended up becoming the the premier of towel cart dealers all in, in all of Atlanta. In all of Atlanta, so we, uh, we anywhere in Georgia and the, almost all of the southeast. Exactly, and so that allowed us to not only buy carts, chassis, accessories, everything that we needed at lower cost, but interestingly enough, it also allowed us to start leveraging that dealership um, that dealership status to be able to move carts and sell carts. Yeah, I think we have some pretty interesting things that we can do here in the future. I think we're looking at, you know, branching into leasing or renting carts out at the track um, or whichever track you might be at or we happen to be at maybe that weekend if we're out where you guys are, um, as well as putting packages together and customizing a cart just for you. We have a, a delivery that we're making this week to a, a customer that we built a cart for. Um, specifically for him and uh and we'll do a delivery video and show you how white glove we are with it we're very particular about how we put it together for each customer um and i think that's really where i wanted to bring things to the sport i mean i think it's really almost in a dark not in the back room kind of thing but it's just not that apple store feel mm -hmm. of when you go to buy a go-kart um at least for me, it feels sometimes like, oh, if you don't, you know, spend enough money, then you might not get the best setup or you might not get this. Um, and unfortunately, that that comes with racing. You know, I mean, you, you're always paying to get the next little bit. But I think our or at least my goals in some of this is to to help guys and uh, help other dads or other people getting into karting to understand the cost and, and understand where you could maybe save a little bit of money on this time and then you know how competitive one chassis or this might be versus buying a brand new one. So um, I know that you bought brand new and I bought used and we both kind of converged at a point and uh, I think there's some you know pros and cons there. We'll definitely put those on the forum and, and should tell you guys about those and what we experienced. Absolutely. I mean, uh, so much of these vlogs are really opportunities for us to just communicate to you guys what we're learning and what we're going through. Obviously, we're creating a lot of tutorials, a lot of guides and walkthroughs of how to maintain a card, how to uh, take a card apart, how to build one, how to make sure that it's well maintained for race day or a track day. But a lot of the content creation that we're, we're putting together here really is born out of a frustration, uh, maybe not a frustration, but a lacking of information out there. And so we're doing, we're taking from all of our experience in racing, all of our experience in, 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 in uh, me me mechanicing on these types of things uh, and giving it out to you guys so that you guys can learn and hopefully not fall into the same traps that we fell into, right. especially the money traps. And we spent a lot of money uh, learning. And, I, and yeah. I, what we want to do is for everyone out there is ha make sure that you don't spend as much money as we spent to get this type of education. Yeah, I think that's a really one of the daunting points in getting into karting. Um, unfortunately, karting is in the United States is not as prevalent, so to speak, as in Europe. And I think there's a lot less information um, sure. readily available uh, to the to the dad that never went racing or to, you know, the college kid that wants to get into a go kart and, uh, you know, just kind of looking at that. I think there's some stuff there that we just don't have here in the US due to the lack of, you know, small go-kart tracks all plastered around like we have in Japan or mm -hmm. in Europe. Um, I think there's, you know, has the United States motorsports is just a different kind of thought process um, altogether in a lot of ways. So it, it is it is definitely a different culture out here. Um, you know, one of the, one of the things that we've we've talked about with other dads that we've met, and that, and actually that's kind of a pro tip for all of you guys out there when you get into karting, is you want to put on your how can I be as communicative, how can I humble myself and ask as many questions as possible uh, when you get into karting because there's lots of dads out there, there's lots of guys out on the track that that have a lot of knowledge that you can glean from and learn from, and so for us 
we were we've been sucking from the from from the fire hydrant for six months learning all of this stuff and we want to give it back to you guys again when it comes to america it's just a different culture yeah um we've talked with with guys who are getting into the formula formula world and they're you know they've told us and i've known this for a while that if you really want to get into the formula world you have to go over to europe yeah i mean there's i think uh in karting a lot of times there's kids moving to europe at 14 13 14 years old to get a um to get a, a seat at a drive you mm -hmm. know i think there's um you actually in many in many ways you got to start early like 11 11 years old yeah yeah so you know there's a lot of things to learn when it comes to racing and go-karting and we want to make sure that all of that stuff is available to you guys on go-kart academy so make sure you sign up there yeah um let us know in the comments if you have anything that you want us to talk to you guys about uh, anything that you guys are dealing with and we can kind of put together and put our heads together and see what we can come up with to try and make a curated solution for you. That's what we're here to do. I mean, we're here to make it easier for you guys. This is, um, you know, this is for us to talk to you and communicate, but it's also here basically for you so we can communicate and get you the information that you might be seeking without you having to dig through all of Google. Um, so the last thing that we wanted to talk about is community. And yep. we're really excited that you guys are here. One of the things that we wanted to do is not just be two dads documenting their son's journey into professional racing and creating content for you guys, but we wanted to create a community around this so that you guys can help each other, learn from each other, post what you're doing uh, with your carts. And obviously, if you sign up for Go Kart Academy, you have access to us. You can ask us questions at any time. Uh, ask us for tips, ask us for tricks, uh, ask us for content ideas that you want us to cover, as well as in the future, we're going to be selling carts and accessories and all sorts of things that you can buy to ensure that you can get into carting for cheaper. Not only that is we have swag. 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 So we're going to be leveraging our sponsors to allow you to get free swag so you guys can get in the game even faster. Yeah. So thanks so much, guys, for hanging out with us on vlog number two. Uh, I think we're calling this um, bench, bench time. time. <laughs> bench time. What's this thing from? This is from an 86 Chevy Celebrity. Your first car? My first car. Is it the actual one from the first car? No, no. I, I, no, I searched junkyard for this one. So, nice. So I, I got this re upholstered. So this is vlog number two, bench time with John and Peter from gokart.academy and 893 Motorsports. Thanks so much, guys. Smash the like button, subscribe, and again, join us in gokart.academy. We'll see you guys soon.